Here we are again. The national debt clock continues to tick on. How much longer will this be sustainable? Until they decide to change it. Because our politicians, they aren't worried about it. And I think we should cast them all out. What do you think? Let's explore! Casting them out, the money changers, you know, that is a message that I think uh, most of us would agree with regards to our politicians. Although, you know, what is that? What were they being cast out of? The temple. We'll look at that in a moment. Let's look at these numbers again here. You know, something's got to give at some point in time. This will only be sustainable as long as people have faith in this, the dollar. And make no mistake, there's a lot of faith in the dollar. In fact, like it or not, if you're watching this video, you have faith in it too. If you're from the United States, and by the way, if you live in a country that transacts with the dollar or has it as part of their foreign exchange reserves, you have faith in it too. It's just a fact of life. Dollars are here to stay for until they aren't being seen as a faithful and a consistent store of value. Uh, well, we know that they're a store of value that's losing but losing at a rate that's acceptable to most of us these days. As long as our wages keep up, we're okay with inflation, but they're not. So people are hurting and suffering, but nonetheless, that does not mean that they don't want dollars. They just want more of them. That's the difference. Until there's a paradigm shift of thinking away from these dollars, that dollar sign, the dollar is here to stay. But nonetheless, these dollars are important. And their expenditure is important because it leads to deficit spending, which leads to this huge number that keeps increasing at an alarming rate. So what's going on? Well, the money changers, essentially, in a sense, are politicians. And that's the message that the debt clock people are giving to us right now in this message here. We have to zoom out. This is a big one. Uh, and it is something else here that they're, that they're telling us. Uh, what do we have here? Well, it's sort of a play on a previous message. Some of these messages do overlap. It is a, a quote from Scripture. And Jesus went into the temple of God and cast out all of them that sold and bought in the temple and overthrew the tables of the money changers. Now you see here that there's two images here. The first image here is of the Federal Reserve Building in Washington, D.C. And uh, you can see there that on that building there, and there is overlaid on top of it the seal of the Federal Reserve. So this is just showing us that it is indeed the Federal Reserve system. And it seems like that they have built this temple. What is another temple? The United States Congress. So it's hearkened to that. Um, but the thing is, is what's going on in Congress? They're spending money, robbing us blind, essentially is what's going on. The money changers. And they're changing money with inflation. And that's essentially what's going on and what happened in the temple. If you go back and look at historic times and biblical times, that's indeed what occurred. Uh, they essentially had changed out. You had to get their tokens. And, and uh, usually at the exchange rate, uh, you suffered from that. And in a sense, that's kind of what, kind of what happens with inflation, with fractional reserve banking. And uh, we can see here that over top of this is who should be in control, and that's Jesus. We can see here with the ichthu symbol, a symbol we've seen before, with behind it the star and sort of the illumination there that we can see behind of, of what's coming and how over top of it all, God oversees and, and, and certainly is witnessing is what has happened. And, uh, of course, Jesus being God himself, he will eventually overthrow uh, the 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 money changers and threw them out and the tables and cast them out and I think that's what essentially is going to happen that's what they're saying is going to happen here now we don't see the Virgo uh, constellation and the planet Jupiter which many have interpreted that to be sometime around 2027 but this overall message is saying it's coming something's coming it's going to be a change is what the debt clock people are saying here. Um, and I've made this request before. I think I'm the only channel on YouTube that is covering these. And again, I have signed up to thank for, 
for this because he let me know that these messages were here. Um, and uh, so I've got them all now. And I'd love to, well, I'd love to interview uh, the people who are behind these graphics and the message of the debt clock. Um, I think it'll be fascinating to see what their thought process is and some of these and some of the symbolism to see if I got it right, to see if you got it right. But so far here, we can see here that the green circle around the Federal Reserve building and the black and sort of the subdued coloration here means that, um, you know, I interpret that as being as this is sort of a, a black darkened system is kind of plagued like the black plague and the green represents the green back. What, what the dollar is nowadays. So we can see that there underneath this, this oval with the Federal Reserve building. Sort of a, and notice that it's, it's, it's sort of a, a, a dusk uh, image here. It's an imagery in dusk. And behind it, behind that, we can see a silhouette of the, the, the circle and the oval that is, that is where the Capitol building is. And you'll notice here that it is twilight there, almost near night at the Capitol building, which means Essentially, I think that interpretation is as follows, that we are going to see that we are at the sunset of this current system, and something's got to change here. Now, if we zoom into this, uh, we have to look very closely and carefully at these, at these images because things will poke out. Many of you have discovered things that I've missed in the past on these. So I look at these and study these fairly closely now, and we can see here, that above here, we have the ichthus sign. Uh, we have the illumination there, which I think is the glory and God, the glory of God, the rainbow, the promise that he will never flood the earth again uh, is an interpretation of this. Looking down at the Capitol building, and look over here what we see to the right, uh, in, on, on the right-hand side here. The sun is setting in the west, and in the east comes this uh, figure, this apparition, is this an angel? Is this an angel of God? Well, we we'll get to zoom in a little bit more closer to see if we can make this out. I'm not sure. I think it is. It looks to be an angel of God. You don't have to kind of look closely at this and zoom in to see it. Look at this figure here. But although it looks like it's a statue with a winged on top of standing on top of something here, not in flight. So I'm a little confused about this. I think it is an angel, as it is a humanoid type figure with wings. But you'll notice that the figure appears to be standing on some sort of rock in this apparition here. Let's see if we can see if there's anything else that sticks out to us over here on this side. And I'm not seeing anything. But wow, the symbolism in these things is interesting. And, and I kind of just saw this as I was looking. So I thought I'd look at to find out what's going on there. Could it be that that cloud is hiding what's behind and this is essentially the new kingdom uh in the distance there and then we're becoming a kingdom of sound money of wealth uh debt-free currency i don't know uh could be something that's in the distance there fascinating indeed uh and so i find that kind of imagery quite in uh, intriguing for sure but i think there is meaning to these images being you know, at the, at the, at dusk, at the beginning of dusk and at twilight here, especially very close to night as the sun is going down, uh, falling there in the east. And it's a cloudy system over there, uh, in the background there. Storm is ahead coming, but in the end, God is in control. And I think that's what the message, the overall message here is. So another take on the money changers thing here. Very, very interesting message indeed. So let me know what your thoughts are. Is there anything that I missed in this? Uh, do you have any other ideas of what could be? Now, this is the latest video in interpretation of the debt clock. I'm going to try to do these as often as I can. There may be times where I may not be able to capture them right on time. I'll try to, if I can, I'll try to go back and get the others uh, if I can. But there will be times where I won't be able to get them all. So far, I've been able to keep up with them. But if you're enjoying this series, I hope you will press that thumbs up button down below and press that like button. And I hope you will consider maybe to, uh, to subscribe to the channel as well. I do post daily videos and this is the newest initiative that I've done here and a part of a playlist called the secrets of the debt clock. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to each and every one of you for taking the time to watch and to encourage you to please rate, share, 
comment, and subscribe.